Hello everyone. This video is intended to be a brief look at Pelican's newest M600, the M600 Art Collection, Glauco Cambone. And this is probably one of the more exciting Pelicans that we've seen in recent years. And that's uh, because there's a whole new process utilized here to create a design. Um, they call that process the Aurora process, not to be confused with Aurora pens or inks. Um, and what it entails is um, starting with a brass barrel and then engraving that and uh, applying these very fine grooves via guilloche, um and then multiple uh, coats of lacquer. Pelican reports 10 coats of lacquer go on top of that get polished and then ultimately uh, the design is printed on top and what you get after polishing to a high sheen is this kind of holographic effect and I have to tell you that pictures do not do it justice. I have struggled to capture uh, the beauty of this one um, in uh, the type of lighting uh, that facilitates uh, my usual photography so what I would encourage is um, if you have a chance to see this one in person in good lighting that's your best way to get a sense of it but it is very radiant it has a sense of depth um, the inspiration for this came from uh, one of uh, pelican's uh, poster competitions and the entry for that and what these um, designs on the barrel represent are reflections in the water um, of different pelicans uh, that uh, the artists had rendered and it's actually a pretty neat way to bring art to life and we're talking art that's you know well over 100 years old at this point the um pen by virtue of being an m600 has the same diameter same length as a typical m600 um, all the trim is the same you'll see the the two um, trim rings at the piston knob the two on the cap band um, the one at the section um, so there's a lot of familiar here with your typical Suveron. however um the weight is different because it's got brass barrel construction. It's going to be heftier. Think a la M215 and what that was compared to an M200. Um, you know, you could almost uh, call this an M615, even though that's not the official designation which Pelican gave it. Um, now that heft isn't tremendous. It's about another uh, 10 ounces, um, though it is significant. And, you know, I think it's noticeable for people and might be a little bit of um, a boon for those that like the bigger pens, like the M800s, and they like it because of the brass piston construction and the weight. Um, those people tend to shy away from the M600s, but the added weight might make this one um, a little bit more palatable. Um, my example here has a, a medium nib. You can see this is just typical um, Pelican standard um, rhodium plated two-tone uh, 14 karat nib. They didn't do anything um, special or exotic to go along with the nib, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I, I can understand it from a cost savings measure. So overall, um, the Glauco Combone presents, um, you know, a very appealing um, design, a very eye-catching design. Um, I think this one's going to be a uh, top seller for the company just based on its looks. Um, and it has a promise of being the first in an entry of um, multiple new pens, you know, maybe in a series like the M620 series was with the Cities uh, editions. And we might see that here uh, with Pelican drawing inspiration from their old um, poster competitions, um, which if that becomes the case, I, I think we could see a lot of um, uh, unique designs come forth. Um, almost feels a little bit like Pelican getting their mojo back, uh, which is ver certainly welcome, uh, in my opinion. So there you have it, a brief look at Pelican's M600 um, Glauco Combone. And again, it, it's impossible to get um, a really good picture of. So if, if you really would like to see this one, um, try to catch it in person if you can.